Hello everyone, today I'm unboxing the supplies from the July scroller box. Um, I got it a little while ago, but didn't get to open it because I was not home. And now I get to see what's inside. Ooh, the yummy candies for today is the Strobs by Haribo, my favorite candies. Yummy. And then we have, oh cute, Scrawler Doodles. A little sketchbook. Oh, okay, it has a grid in it. Hmm, I wonder if it has something to do with this month's challenge. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, can't wait to see what else we have in here. Creative Power. How, uh, odd how, oh, sorry. Oof, can't read. Odd how creative power at once brings the whole universe to order. By Virginia Woolf. What is this? Okay, so it shows what's in here. Ideas with your stamps and stickers. So we have a bunch of stickers, I guess. I wonder if it's just to do some, to put that in a journal or something, which I don't. Don't do logs or anything. I just have a wall calendar and put my stuff on it. Anyway. Let's get to the supplies and see what, what we have here. We have an Energel by Pantel. It's so a 07. Nice. I like Pantel uh, pens. I use them all the time. They're, they're really nice. The ink flows really well. We have... Um, let's see. A brush pen by Edding. 1340. Ooh, sweet. And a Stadler Triplus Fine Liner in gray. Very, very fine. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Another fine liner by Sailor that's green. The sticker. We've got a Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in Ice Blue. These are nice also. Got the whole collection. And I did some tutorials. Acrylic block. Ah, that's what it's for. Sorry, I don't do much stamping anymore. Oh, here it is. That's really cute. So I'm guessing we're supposed to use this page in. I think. And decorate it. And the challenge is creatively organized. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what I can create with this. I like the keep scrolling stamp here. It's really cute. Well, these are cute too. I don't know if I'll ever use this or this. But I probably will use these. They're really nice. And I guess you just stick on, stick to. Oh, okay. You probably can use these to um, add the ink onto the stamps instead of ha having an ink pad. All right. I think I'll have fun using this. I don't know how, but I'm sure I'll have fun. Well, first of all, let me ask you, what am I supposed to do with a bullet journal? 
um, I have so many things to do that taking the time to actually make a journal to write down uh, what I have to do is so time consuming. Uh, I've never seen the point. I know it's a very trendy thing to do and they can look very pretty, but it's not something that I'm, that I'm going to keep once I'm done writing all my monthly uh, things that I have to do. Once it's done, I'll just toss it. So why should I take the time to make it all nice and pretty and all that stuff? This is what I do and I think it's much simpler. This is my journal. This is called a wall calendar. And it has a handy dandy hole right here. You can attach it to a wall. And it has big squares uh, for each day of the month so that you can write stuff in it. And a really big novelty is that it's already drawn out for you. You don't even need to make your little squares, little lines, and little decorated. It's already decorated. See, look, it's October. Now, I can write my appointments, um, things I have to do, but then I'll show you my bullet list of things to do. I'll just grab, let's say, an old envelope and a pen, and oop, one bullet, two bullets. Um, um, clean the litter box. Let's see what else. Buy, oops, and see, I can, I don't feel guilty if I, if I don't spell it right and I can just like make big goops of stuff. So let's see, I was going to say, yeah, buy a uh, peanut butter and all that stuff. Once I'm done, whoop, cross it off. When I receive new stuff from scroll box, can even use it to try it out. See, pretty cool. And then once I'm done, it's all filled up and I don't use it anymore, whoop, I toss it in the trash. The recycle, sorry, it's paper. So <laughs> anyway, I just want to show you what I do. I've never done a bullet journal. I've never seen the point of spending the time making your own. I can see how very creative people enjoy making one because some of them are really, really pretty. Uh, it's just not for me. So this is not the box for me. However, probably going to use this. Uh, I love uh, Pentel Energel. I've, I've used uh, a few of them. They're really cool. Uh, let me show you the one I really like that I use all the time. It's this one. It's very fine. Uh, this is this is nice too. Let me get my bullet list that I put in the recycle. Here you go. Yeah, I kind of... Wait, there's tape here, huh? This is a, a little bit thinner. Yeah, this is a 0 0.7. But... I like this because you can see the, the tip better. But this is really nice. So I'm going to use that for sure to write my little list. Where did I put the cap? Ah, here. Um, these two I've had in previous boxes. This doesn't, this is really light. So you can't really see it very well. Um, and then it's another brush band. This I have a whole, um, the whole set. So it will be a nice one when once I run out of the uh, ice blue. It's always nice. Um, I don't know. I'll see what I can do to do the uh, the challenge. I'll probably just make a page with these. Um, I might I might use these guys actually to decorate my sketchbooks once in a while. But 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. I might just use this. Uh, I don't know. I'll see what comes to to mind. Anyway, <laughs> sorry guys. For those of you who do bullet journals, nothing against you. You usually do a beautiful job. It's just not for me. So first of all, uh, sorry for being so negative. I'm not trying to be. I just don't see the point of those bullet journals. Uh, I must say my challenge was kind of a disaster. You know, I was stamping stuff and using a little brush pen for a big stamp with a lot of details on it. It took forever. I think that an ink pad would have been a bit better. I understand the concept of using um, different colors on one stamp. So in that case, a brush pen is, is fine. It's great. But this was, this was really a pain. Now, uh, the eternal calendar, I don't get it. I thought I knew how to use it, but it's just, I don't know, it's not working. So if anyone out there knows how to use this darn eternal calendar, please let me know. I thought that first you just printed the numbers and then you aligned it with the days of the week, but it, it just won't work that way. So I tried to do it, you know, best I could that way, but it's, it's kind of a pain, I guess. The other way I thought it's meant to be used is that each time you print the whole thing and then you just circle the date, which to me doesn't make any sense because it takes up so much space on your page just to circle the day, the month, and the number of the month. So might as well write, I don't know, like 08 27 2018. It doesn't take as much space on your paper. But that's my personal humble opinion. Maybe it looks pretty on the page. I don't know. So yeah, if anyone out there knows how to use this calendar properly, please let me know because to me it really doesn't make sense. If you stamp a full calendar for the whole month, then why do you just use it for one day? It's just, I don't know. I don't get it, sorry. So anyway, I really made a big mess with that too. I think for me, it would have been easier with a stamping pad because um, I don't know I it didn't work well plus the ink is pretty strong so it did go through the paper a bit it didn't really bleed through but you can see it on the other side of the page I really just wasn't inspired by this month's box I can see how some people might be excited I didn't know what to do really it I really didn't so I ended up using that pretty page and tried to make up my own quote which again was a disaster it's not that easy trying to come up with a quote i should have said something more along the lines of uh, i would rather be organizing my life rather than my bullet journal or something like that i don't know anyway thanks everybody for watching this video sorry for the rant I hope next month will be a better box <laughs> for me. <laughs> anyway, thanks again, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.